Did Apple change its mind about liquid glass for the upcoming iOS 26? What we saw in the WWDC as liquid glass may not be the exact same one we are going to get when officially iOS 26 rolled out by the end of September. But in this episode, I just want to share a quick comparison between the iOS 26 Beta 2 and iOS 26 Beta 3 that just came out a couple of days ago. First beta released to developers had more transparency in Control Center and other apps, navigation and buttons area. And Apple have kind of made a 20 to 30 percent background and transparency, you know, difference with the iOS 26 Beta 2 release. And after a couple of weeks, now we have the iOS 26 beta 3 apple have kind of made another 10 percent adjustment to the background transparency effect where the liquid glass kind of looks like a frosted glass at present one major complaint that many users have you know submitted in feedback assistant and generally posted in social media is the readability is at the worst with the ios 26 beta 1 apple have tried to address that concern with the beta 2 and they made even more fine tuning improving the overall readability with the lock screen notifications and control center and inside the apps like music app and other applications as you can see with the ios 26 beta 3 now we have more matte finish kind of look in several areas within the app and the clear transparency effects have been reduced to like 30 percent level compared to the ios 26 beta 1 version this beta 3 kind of feels stable apart from that the liquid glass design is not entirely out of the picture it is there and apple have kind of improved it to make the texts and everything you know the icons the graphics everything look more visible here you can see when we open the folders within the apps navigation area you can see it's more like a frosted glass instead of the liquid glass the reflections are there whatever the wallpaper or the background you know the nearby icons and everything kind of shows the reflection perfectly like what we saw in the ios 26 beta 1 but the matte finish or the frosted glass type is what we are seeing right now with the latest beta 3 version we will see more fine tuning and improvements in the upcoming betas and many users suggest that apple should add a slider because some users actually liked that complete transparency of you know the text and icons and they are okay with the readability with more transparency added to the control center and other apps areas so people wish that apple considers adding a slider that gives control to the users to decide whether the frosted glass type should be there or you know the more transparent background liquid glass actually what demonstrated on the wwdc is what they are like to use when the iOS 26 stable release comes out. Depending on the wallpaper that we use, you know, the reflections and the background transparency adjustments are very clear and visible with the iOS 26 beta 3. Right now on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm using the matte temper glass. Maybe that is one added reason. We are seeing a little more that matte style of finish. But even with the glossy display, we will see that, you know, increased frosted glass type background with the folders and music app and other navigation areas i think it is perfect and more users will prefer this instead of a complete transparency and of course that can be an option which apple may include as a slider to let users choose how much transparency in the background across the system they want to experience and see with the light mode set you know the light mode appearance set within the settings display and brightness you will have more frosted type of navigation navigational areas with the dark mode set as you can see in this video the transparency is much better and i prefer dark mode so do share your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about the ios 26 beta 3 and the previous beta version liquid glass design changes made by apple thank you so much for watching for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day